solution. Maybe there could be some type of antidote for this world, this maze-like deceiving world. And in fact, there is. Jesus described something what he called truth. He said that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You see what he's saying is if you follow truth, you'll be free from the world of deception. He was, without sounding too uh, mystical or religious, but he, he carried with him the, the presence of the Lord in the sense that it was attractive to other people. You know, uh, Tennyson made such an impact on our family that um, we named our third son after him, Tennyson James Blue, because we wanted to ha him to have someone to emulate and someone to look up to. Tennyson was uh, the real deal. What you see is what you got. He was very sincere. Uh, I haven't been in youth ministry for 25 plus years. You meet a lot of fine young uh, men and women. Uh, I don't know that I've ever met anyone finer than, than Tennyson. reversed and I look up to you and I'm so encouraged by what you did and let me just continue to take that out into my life and uh, brother I love you. Teddy we love you you're the best. Number 41! I miss you Tennessee! <laughs> Baby, baby. Yeah, you so I love you! Man T-Boyning man I love you brother. Guys man I, I won't forget none of the times we spent together man. None of them, Timo. Thanks so much, man. Victory test and victory, you know what it's about. Tennyson, thank you. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for all of the fun that we've had. And thank you for the love that you've given me and to my family. Tennyson, I am so grateful for the eight months that we had together. I wish it could have been longer, but I will treasure the time that we had together. And I'm thankful for you opening my heart. And I hope I was able to give you uh, my heart. And I can't wait to see you again one day in heaven. I love you. say Colorado's gonna beat up on him. And
pretty good. <laughs>